Welcome to programming. This is video number eight. Um, in this in this video, I'll show you how to make an application installer for from NetBean. First, we'll need the um, application. We'll create the application with uh, the usual steps, and in the categories tab, we'll select NetBean from NetBeans modules and in project types we'll select NetBeans um, platform application. We'll name it my application. Oh, it is simply my app and then click finished. We're not going to be writing any code here so uh, the only project that we have is my app and this is a complete complete project because you can run it it will start up with the splash image and then display the application it's kind of big so I'll shrink it down a little bit and you can see that it's actually titled it my app and followed by the timestamps of the build you get uh, the menu and um, exit button you have about which will show your splash image we'll, we'll, we'll use the default um, resources so it's going to be the default one the default splash image is the this one right here so uh, we can close it um, this show you a little bit that um the build that we are running right now at at um specify in here so it keeps all the details in here so uh w once we create the installer I'll show you the demo and how it works on each of the operating system I'll show you how it works on Windows and how it works on Ubuntu so we're going to need to create two installers one is for Windows and the other one is for uh, Linux to create an installer you go to file and open the um, project property dialog go to installer and select on the two installers you get the option to compress it a little bit more but I'm not going to use it here so I'll click OK Um, once you've done that, you can create the installer now by right click on the um, project and then select build installers. Uh, if you open the output window, so you're going to see that it will first uh, zip up the uh, project software and then it will try to create the installer as well. Windows and then uh, Linux. Once um, this is it's done creating installer for the Windows, it's now done with uh, Linux installer. So we can see all the uh installers right here so i'll just go to places my home folder and go to my app my app and then distribution package now mm, This is the installer for Windows and this one is for Linux. I'll show you how the installer works on Windows by cutting this and go to the share folder for Windows which is um, Windows share I don't this one so the Windows client look something like this and once he opened this one he will see that there are two executable files in here 
um, which is basically the same thing as here. If he decided that um, he want to try my app instead of um, this one right here, he can just um, delete it, and this will automatically automatically update the folder in here. Just to show you, yeah, it's the same folder. Now, uh, if the user decides to install the application, he can double click it. He will get the usual morning uh, windows. He decides to install it by clicking run. Just like any other application installer, he will face with the <laughs> um, installer widgets. He can click next and next and install. The installer will create a desktop shortcut and he also have the option to start the um, application from the usual startup menu in here. Okay, just like I said, this is the application which is built and the about button show the detail, the exact detail, same detail that we have. Okay, so not only that do we get the installer, we also get the uninstaller also. So user can decide that he doesn't want this application no more. He can select it and decide to clean it all the way so he checked on removing all the application data and select uninstall everything is gone now so he would not see the application in um, control panel nor the uh, menu in the application startup menu so I should show you how it works on Windows now we move on to I'll shut this down and I'll move on to window client. For window client, I'll show you another way to distribute your software. Um, since I don't mind my application to be anywhere in the internet, so I'll simply just upload it to media file. My application is in hmm, my app. Where's my app? My app. This and drag this to actually get the link. It's not that big. 8.5 megabyte. So it needs some time to upload. Hopefully not too long. Okay, only a few seconds now. Verifying. Okay, so it's uploaded, and I want to copy the link and now I'll tell you the user that he can go to this one right here in order to download the um uh my application so I hit enter and click on the download hmm. I'm not 
Okay. Uh, he can select to save it and choose to save it. Click on it and hmm. okay. You can double click on it, it will try to open it with GA edit. So I just change it to change it to uh, an executable file by go to the property windows and go to permission and select on allow executing files program and then once you double click it it will ask the user to run it or not okay this is this is how it looks like in, in uh, Ubuntu box so the user can click next the default installer is in um, the home directory followed by the um, uh, project name which is my app and it's got the option to create desktop icon and um, create a shortcut in the application menu just to show you that there is nothing here for um, my app and then after installation you get the option to uh, launch my application after the installer closes or and the desktop icon of course including the um, application menu which is right in the um, sub menu called Arte okay if we click finish now we get the um, and the same thing with the uh, window installer. Everything. Okay. Oh, let me see the time right now. If I, I do still have some time, so I will just show you how to uninstall it. The user, user can go to um the application folder and there is an uninstalling script in here which user can double click on it and select run it will pop up a dialog and user can select remove uh, all the application data and click uninstall everything is going to be gone so um, this uh, I'll shut this down and this is it for um, it the video number 8 how to create application installer by NetBeans thank you for watching goodbye